So Kevin, it's been a busy off season with nine new signings. Can you talk us through uh, the new signings to the club? Hi, um, we'll just start with the first one, uh, you know, which was uh, Andy Ryan. Um, Andy's a player that I spoke to last year and had really just continued, you know, that relationship with him. And when he became available, it was a no-brainer for us to at least speak to him. Um, we were very lucky, you know, we timed it before the Scottish football had sort of woken up and, and we got, we jumped to race there and got Andy in and, and for there, you know, it's just been a, a real hard-working sort of pre-season. Um, the management team, you know, James is stepping up, Bill Orr coming in as performance head and David joining as his head scout um, and the four of us have, have put together a system that, that we feel works and it's thorough, you know, there's a lot of homework going into every player, covering a lot of footage, so that started with Andy, we moved on to Kieran. Kieran's a player that I've seen obviously, but again, every player went through the same process. He's a youngster, um, he's going to give his legs, energy, uh, and, and just a great enthusiasm to, to, to improve on his on his own game. Um, Declan Byrne, you know, and Curtis Roberts soon followed, and you know, and the positions just started to fill up a wee bit. I think the fans were, some fans were a wee bit uh, worried we were going to be a bit top heavy with the with the forwards but you know it just it was just a timing of when these guys were becoming available you know Detley became available say before Jack Leach did and you know so we went and got the quality and while it was there Declan had a terrific season with Albion you know and he was a he was a problem for most defences he's going to bring power uh, pace to the forward line you know and uh, as I say it's up to us now as a management team to make sure that that connect and the balance is better between middle and front um, Curtis was a player that you know, I've been admired a long, long time. Uh, he did really well against us when uh, when I just joined the club when he was at Queen's and even when I was at Annan, he did well against us there. You know, again, somebody with great energy, good quality on the ball and, and carries a bit of a goal threat from the middle of the park. You know, I think in League Two, he got three or four goals in his 25 games. So we're hoping he can sort of emulate that with us this season, but also give us, you know, um, the energy in the legs and that aggression that he has in the middle of the park. Um, Scott Roberts, was somebody that I've, I've worked with um, at Annan. Scott was schooled at Rangers, you know, come through the system and he's and lost his way a wee bit, admittedly. You know, Scott will be the first to admit that, but I think we're getting a player just perfect timing. I'm hoping it's perfect timing for Scott to come in and, and really flourish. You know, he's working ever so hard, posting videos like a lot of players, you know, working, doing one-to-one -one sessions constantly, working on his fitness, working on his technique, and I'm hoping that we can see the best of Scott this year. And if we do, um, he, he can be a real, real special talent. You know, technically he's a wonderful, wonderful player to watch and does things effortlessly sometimes. So I'm hoping he can he can bring that to the, the, the game when it really matters, which is three o'clock on a Saturday. Um, and then, obviously, Jack, the, our most recent recruit, you know, Jack was... Uh, Somebody we approached quite early on, but you know he was sitting tight for the time being. But when he became available, you know, for the last ten days, we've been working really, really hard on that, and we've managed to get Jack over the line again. Jack's a player that scores a lot of goals through the middle of the park, a lot of assists, and it's something we missed last year. And I'm hoping he can bring that. And he's at an age, as most of these boys are, 24, 25, 26, that. You know, we're hoping we're building a real, real, real nucleus, a real team here that can stay together and be successful for not only this season, but hopefully the preceding ones as well. Um, on top of all of that, I'm delighted to say, due to all the hard work of the, the coaches at youth level, we've got three young lads joining us. Uh, Will Greenhorn, who is a defender, um, fantastic prospect, I've got really high hopes for Will. Uh, Martin Franz, who's a wide player. Again, Martin's been working with actually one of the enemy, Callum Tappen, who's just joined Stenhouse Muir. He's been doing some one-to-one -one stuff with, with Callum, but again, shows you the desire in him to, to, to step up to the mark. And, and Sandy Carey, who's a centre-forward, and Sandy's just a bag of energy. And, and I'm hoping we'll keep these three lads, certainly through pre-season, and we'll work with them, try and get their levels, see where they're at, but hopefully we can give them a platform here. But if not, initially it might be they go out and loan, but these are discussions and things we'll judge as time goes by. But as I say, I'm, I'm excited, I'm excited. We've kept, not to forget, we've kept a fantastic nucleus for last year, a real strong defensive sort of foundation there, including the two man mental keepers, staff keepers, I was going to say. Um, and we've, we've obviously kept, you know, Big Dylan Mack and Sean Heaver up front, a good good mix and balance between those two and, and Div Wilson and Young Dom in the middle of the park. So I feel as if we've really kept a good nucleus there and hopefully with the boys we've added to say they've 
the pressure's on me, the pressure's on the management team to really gel this full squad together and make sure come the first game, the Betfred, come the first game, the league that, that we're firing all cylinders and we're ready to give this a right good crack. Pre-season set to start in the, the next couple of weeks, are you looking forward to getting back back into it? I can't wait, you know, just being here is just, uh, just really gets the hairs, you know, on the back of your neck going again and having that feeling of sort of coming here on the Saturdays and coming here on the Tuesday, Thursdays, preparing for training, it's, it's looking wonderful, it'll look even better, it'll feel better, get the fans back in, it'll be amazing, hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later, but I, I just I just can't wait. The Betfred Cup draw was made on Monday night. Uh, it's Ross County, Abroath, Montrose and Elgin City, what do you make of the draw? Going to need our passports, <laughs> we're going to do a fair bit of travelling, um, hopefully our away games are on this Saturday, I think that would be fair, <laughs> you know, but it's listen, it's a, it's a draw again that's going to fling a fantastic array of different opposition, levels of opposition, you know, um, obviously Ross County, the Premier League would be the standout you know, we're going to be tested to the absolute max, but we're well aware that, you know, we've got a Broth and Elgin who I think we all won for last year in the Betfred Cup, so no motivation needed there. And in Montrose, you know, we've got um, a manager and a team who I've got fantastic ad admiration for. You know, Stuart's a fantastic guy, fantastic coach and manager, and, and somebody I would certainly look to learn from, and, and hopefully we can give a real good account of ourselves against these teams, but I think uh, logistically we're going to be, <laughs> we're going to cover the miles, but listen, nothing comes easy in life, nothing comes easy in football, uh, and as I say, it's, it's up to us to best prepare for that from now. Thanks very much, Kevin. No bother, all the best, thank you.